Welcome back to Chemistry Made Easy with Bright Edo. In today's video lesson, I'll be teaching on the pH and pOH of weak solutions. Where we'll be talking about weak acids and also weak bases, but we'll be focusing on weak monoprotic acid, or you say weak monobasic acids and weak monoacidic bases. Now, there are equations that will be helpful when solving problems in this aspect. Now, the first formula that must be noted for solving the pH of weak monobasic acid is because in my previous video on pH of strong acids and bases, I said pH is associated with acid, whereby pOH is associated with base. So, to solve the pH of a weak monobasic acid, it is simply pH is equal to negative log reading root of KAC. This formula is useful for solving the pH of weak monobasic. Now, in this context, the basicity of the acid is 1. That is why we said monobasic acid. Now, what do I mean by a weak acid and a base? These are compounds that dissociate partially when dissolved in water. Now, this equation is very useful for solving the pH of a weak monobasic acid or you say a weak monoprotic acid because basicity of an acid is also called proticity of that acid. Now, we have other equations useful for the solving pOH of weak monoacidic bases. Now, what is the equation? pOH is equal to negative log reading into root of KBC. First, the question you ask yourself, what is KA and what is C and what is KB? First, KA is talking about acid dissociation constant. Acid dissociation constant. It is a constant. What about KB? It is base dissociation constant. Base dissociation constant. And what is C? C is simply concentration. C is concentration of the compound. Now you can see these two equations is very useful for the solving pH and pOH of weak mono monobasic acid or pOH of monoacidic bases. Now we have other equations that will be helpful in solving problems in this aspect. Recall when we talked about pH of strong acids and bases, we gave various formulas. Now before we talk about that, this is solving the pOH of weak mono acidic bases now talking about all of those formulas given in my previous video whereby i said ph is equal to negative log reading into h plus but talking about this concept of weak monobasic and weak acidic monoacidic bases we can have an equation that says P K A is equal to minus log K A. Now in chemistry, the symbol P sometimes can means negative log reading. Negative log reading. Okay, P K A equals to minus log K A. Now what we can have another equation that says P K B will now be equal to minus log K B. Recall we had an equation that says pH plus pOH is equal to 14. 
Now we can also have this equation to be pKa, which stands for the pH, plus pKb is equal to 14. Now, we have another equation that says H plus times OH minus is equal to 1 times 10 power of negative 14. This value is called water dissociation constant. It is called water dissociation constant. Water dissociation constant given with KW. Now we can also have an equation talking about this aspect will be Ka times Kb is equal to Kw, which is 1 times 10 raised to the power minus 40. Now, all of these equations, all of these equations are very, very useful when solving problems on this aspect. This equation, this equation, this equation, and these two formulas, they are very useful in solving problems on the pH and pOH of weak solution now let's quickly move over to the first question and if you've not yet subscribed do well to subscribe to this channel and also if you've not watched my video on ph of strong acids and bases do well to watch that the link will be provided on the description of this video so do well to watch that and also share this video with your friends now let's quickly move over to the first question now let's quickly move over to the first question the question says, calculate the pH of a 0 0.002 molar solution of ethanoic acid, given the Ka to be 1.8 times 10 raised to the power of minus 5. Now, first thing first, we need to identify the parameters given in this question. First, the compound is an acid. It is a weak acid, ethanoic acid, and they are asking us to get pH. So the question is straightforward because they are asking us to get pH. The compound given in the question was an acid, but precisely a weak acid because it is an organic acid because all organic acids are weak acids. Now, this is the concentration of the compound. This is the concentration of the compound. And this is the Ka. They are asking us to get pH. The question is straightforward, so basically we just say pH, recurring the formula I gave, is equal to negative log reading into root of KAC. Now, basically, the pH becomes negative log reading into root of Ka, 1.8 times 10 raised to the power minus 5, times the concentration of the compound ethanoic acid will be 0 0.002 molar, which is the concentration. pH, when we hit our calculator, becomes 3.72. Now, you can see that ethanoic acid, it is a monobasic acid. It is not a dibasic acid. It is a monobasic acid. So, we use this formula. For dibasic acids, there are other formulas to apply. But in the course of today's video and also in the course of your exam, because most exam conditions, they ask questions on weak monobasic and monoacidic base, monoacidic base. Now, moving further, this is ethanoic acid. And ethanoic acid is also called acetic acid. Okay, CH3COH. This is the chemical formula. So basically, when we dissociate this compound, we get the CH3O CO minus ion plus H plus. So this is the basicity. So it is one, which is monobasic. So we use this formula, which I have explained. Now, basically, this is the pH. For instance, they are asking us to get the pH of this same solution. We call pH plus pOH is equal to. 40. So basically, we just say making pOH subject, it becomes 14 minus pH. So pOH will now be equal to 14 minus the pH, which is 3.72, is equal to 10.28 as the pOH. Now you can see solving problems on pH of weak mono basic acid and also weak 
monoacidic bases are very easy. Now, this is the first question. Let's quickly move over to the next question. Now, let's quickly move over to the next question. The question says, the pH of a 0.3 molar solution of a weak base is 10.66. What is the Kb, which is the base dissociation constant of the base? First thing first, you can see, basically, the question is asking us to get Kb, but they gave us pH in the question. So basically, recall we said pH of a weak acid, it is minus log into root of KAC. pOH of a weak base becomes minus log into root of KBC. Now you can see they are asking us to get the KB but they gave us pH. So we simply convert pH to pOH. Recall, we said pH plus pOH is equal to 14. pH plus pOH is equal to 14. So basically, we make pOH subject of formula. We now have 14 minus pH. POH becomes 14 minus the pH, which is 10.66. So POH will now be equal to 3.34. We've gotten the POH, but now we cannot look for the KB because POH is related to KB. So basically, what we simply do is to impute it here. So using this formula, it becomes 3.34 is equal to minus log into root of KB. C. So let's start with the mathematics. Meanwhile, the concentration of the weak base is given to be 0.3 molar. Let's continue with the mathematics. So we have 3.34 is equal to minus log into root of KBC. The C is the concentration, which is 0.3 molar. So basically, when we take the antilog of this value, it becomes log inverse into negative POH, which is 3.34 is equal to root of KBC, which is the concentration 0.3. So basically, we, it becomes log inverse into minus 3.34 all squared is equal to KBC times 0.3. So when we hit this with our calculator, we get 4.57 times 10 to the power minus 4 all squared is equal to 0.3 KB. So when we make KB subject of formula, it becomes 4.57 times 10 to the minus 4 all squared all over 0.3 so the kb value we get when we hit in our calculator becomes 6.96 times 10 refer minus 7 okay so this is the kb value for this weak base now you can see solving problems under this aspect is simple you just need to know the formulas to be applied let's quickly talk about the summary so the formulas to be used when solving problems on this aspect. Okay, the first formula that must be noted for solving the pH of a weak monobasic acid is simply pH is equal to minus log root of KAC because it's talking about pH, so it will have acid dissociation constant for acid. So let's quickly talk about the next. pOH will now be equal to minus log into root of KBC. And it must be noted that Ka times Kb is equal to 1 times 10 to the power minus 14, which is equal to the water dissociation constant. So basically, all of these formulas are very useful in solving problems on this aspect. And recall, pH plus pOH is equal to 14. So these are important formulas that must be noted 
under this article. Do well to subscribe to this channel and also share with your friends. Thanks for watching.